Hey there! Don't fall for these seven new tricks car thieves are using. Here are some depressing statistics. About 1 million cars are stolen in the US each year. The biggest targets are Toyota, Honda, and General Motors vehicles. According to the thieves themselves, this is because these cars are a little easier to steal and their spare parts are in high demand. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd like to keep Grand Theft Auto in the video game realm. So let's see what tricks car thieves are trying to pull these days, and most importantly, how to protect our cars from theft. As soon as there's some public gathering, a big party, or even a busy day at the mall, these criminals have an announcement made over the PA system that a particular car, chosen by them of course, has blocked their vehicle in and they can't leave. As soon as the owner comes out to move his car, a group of guys, often armed, are ready to jump him. They assume, and for good reason, that the person is carrying the key to his car. So they make the victim get in the car with them. This is pretty easy if it's at gunpoint. As for the outcome this can have, that often depends. Ooh, so to prevent such a situation from happening to you, don't immediately rush out to your car, and certainly don't go alone. Don't go directly to your car. Check from a distance if your car really is blocking another one. If you've confirmed that you're really preventing another car from driving away, check if there's a driver in the car you've blocked. And please be very cautious when coming up to your vehicle. Watch your surroundings. Number 2. We live in a world of constant technological development. That's why it's no surprise that new generation car thieves are using gadgets to steal vehicles. Criminals are hacking into the latest keyless systems to enter the newest models. Several thieves hold special radio transmitters near the doors, windows, or walls of the car owner's house. These transmitters intensify the signal coming from key fobs, which are obviously kept inside but often close to the front door. The thief's transmitter mimics the car key and pings the car's locking system. The locking system automatically responds and sends a signal to the key, and the key is supposed to pick up this signal and respond to it. The transmitter of the first thief directs the locking system signal to the transmitter of another criminal standing close to the house. And this second transmitter, in turn, forwards this signal to the key fob. The key fob sends back the right response which the transmitter amplifies and sends to the first transmitter. It's then passed on to the car's locking system. After all this complicated signal pinging, the door is opened and the ignition is started, and you can basically kiss your car goodbye. Now, how to protect your car from this? Not the kissing, but the theft. If you have a car with keyless entry, look into getting a special radio signal deactivation option. It can prevent this abuse of the key signalization. Don't be hesitant about special devices that can protect your car, like a kill switch, for example. This is a device that stops power to the engine, making it impossible to start the car until you disable it. The only problem with kill switches is that it's not easy to install one yourself. So if you don't have the best wiring skills, you probably need to see a mechanic. Even if these guys do break into your car, you can outsmart them by having a removable steering wheel. Sure, car thieves are good drivers, but even they can't control a car without a steering wheel. Yeah, you might look a little weird walking into the business meeting or a date with a removable steering wheel in your hand, but there's no shame in it. You're just protecting your baby. Now, number three. Here's the latest car theft scam that would give computer geniuses a run for their money. Criminals copy and reproduce your car's VIN to organize a huge fraud scheme. The VIN is literally your car's ID number, so by copying it, thieves create a sort of clone of your car. How do they do it? There are two ways. First, the VIN is unique for every car, so thieves copy the VIN from cars in parking lots, junkyards, car dealerships, or even from the internet. After that, they prepare all the necessary documents and fake plates. Then they find a similar car and steal it. Once they replace that car's original VIN with the one they copied, they're good to go. The car won't be considered stolen with its new identity. And here's the second way criminals can use this vehicle identity scam. One thug rents a car. 
Then they spot another car identical to the one they've rented and copy its VIN. The rented car gets this new VIN. After that, the criminals offer the car for sale on the internet or through a newspaper, presenting it as the car whose VIN they've stolen. An unsuspecting client buys the car. Some days later, the criminals steal the car back, return its real VIN, and take it back to the rental. At the same time, the car's whose VIN has been borrowed is reported stolen. Its real owner gets arrested and can be sentenced to 5 to 10 years in prison for a crime they haven't committed. Whew. And I'm just over here wondering where the heck these bozos get all this time on their hands. Alright, what can you do to prevent this? Easy! Keep the VIN on your car covered up, and don't reveal this information unless you absolutely need to. Number 4. Another way car thieves get close to your vehicle is by posing as, for example, mechanics. They start working in a garage, a dealership, or at a car wash. As soon as they notice the model they've been after, their work is done. They have the key, they don't even need to break in. What else can a car thief dream of? The only thing you can do here to prevent this from happening to you is to service your car in trusted places. Don't go back alley just to save a buck. Number 5. If you live in an apartment building, you really need to pay attention to this next scheme. Thieves set the alarm off in your car in the dead of night. You, as a polite and conscientious neighbor, feel uncomfortable disturbing and waking up others. So you disable your alarm. And that's exactly what the thieves wanted. Now, nothing is stopping them from picking the locks, starting the ignition, and driving away with your precious car. Not to get caught in this trap again, removable steering wheels and kill switches are a nice choice. Or just pretend to be deaf and ignore the screams of your alarm. Sorry, neighbors. I kind of like the James Bond ejection seat option myself. Whoops, there it is. Number 6. Now, we've seen some pretty intricate, convoluted, and let's just admit it, pretty ingenious schemes so far. Well, this next one is probably the simplest, yet most dangerous, so listen carefully. Some thieves will hang out around grocery stores and major supermarkets and stalk their prey, so to say. They'll wait for a lone shopper to walk to their car with all their grocery bags, sneak up on them, and either demand the keys and drive off, or abduct the car owner, and who knows what else after that. There are some effective steps you can take to prevent this. Avoid going to the grocery late in the evening or at night. This scheme is almost only used when it's dark out. Try not to go to the grocery store alone. These guys target the most vulnerable victims. Do not park your car far away from the store's entrance. If there are no spots closer to the doors, keep circling the lot until one opens up. Your safety is more important than your time. Number 7. And finally, there have recently been some heated discussions on the internet about this new trick being used by car thieves. And that's the trick with a coin. They slip it into the space between the door and the door handle. When a car owner thinks that they've locked the door with a remote, the vehicle is, in fact, still open. The coin prevents the lock on one of the doors from working. As soon as the owner walks away from the car, the thief has no problems at all opening the door and driving away. I can't say I've ever tried this one. I'm not that big of a bozo. Now, do you think it really works? Comment down below. I'd love to know if this trick is real. So have you heard about other scams car thieves are using nowadays? Tell us in the comments. Spread this knowledge by sharing this video with all of your friends. Even if they don't have a car, they probably have family members who do. If you found this video useful, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Life is better on the bright side.